additive manufacturing is a revolution that's happening basically around the world. Arbor Nichols is in the business of designing some of the fastest and most power dense machinery on the planet. Some of these machines can have a power density over six times that of a top fuel dragster. The extreme performance of these pumps and turbines require that they're made from super alloys. These are materials that are still strong at temperatures that turn structural steel to putty. With this machine, we're targeting super alloys because they're so difficult to traditionally manufacture and it puts such limitations on the way we think about creating the parts that we need to. There's only so many different ways to, to cast, hammer, and cut material. Additive manufacturing is escaping those boundaries because you start with nothing. You start with a metal powder that's formless, featureless, and you turn it into almost any shape that you want. These designs are intended to precisely control the flow of heat, fluid, stress, and gas through these parts, but they're shackled to the unnatural shapes and joints that traditional manufacturing demands. It's been said that this problem could be solved starting with the raw materials if only we had a magic wand that could build the parts by rearranging the atoms. The limit now more than ever is our creativity. These technologies can bring solutions to life that we haven't even conceived of yet. In combination with the rest of our manufacturing technologies, these parts are going to do things and solve problems that were intractable only a few years ago. It's a true paradigm shift, a shakeup that manufacturing hasn't seen in a hundred years, and we can't wait to see where it goes. What this machine and machines like it are making right now for Barbara Nichols are parts that are already in vehicles that are going to space, and there's many more to come.